This is the bushingfix.com SI2 kit installation instruction video. This part fits several vehicles. Most commonly the K-Roy looks like this one. And with this bushing you'll want to take note of the tapered end. And you'll want the taper pointing away from the transmission pin. That's to say it'll sit in there kind of like that. And the easiest way to get this in is to turn it sideways and sort of squeeze it and flatten it as you push it in. And after you get it in there, you can rotate it now. There's a tool included in the kit, but you'll also want to use a pocket screwdriver. Use the pocket screwdriver for any prying that you're going to do. And you can use the other tool like the shoehorn, and we'll show you how to do that in just a moment. But again, you want to rotate this in the direction so that the tapered end is facing away from the transmission pin. And this is the installation tool, and this one might look a little beat up because we are longevity testing it. But you can put it in and rotate it around. You don't want to pry with it, but you can rotate it around to use it sort of like a shoehorn. And you can use it on both sides to sort of get the lip of the bushing on each side centered to where you want it. And depending on the cable style and which direction you've got the bushing set up, you'll want the tapered end to sort of protrude a little bit from the end of the cable, ideally. It doesn't have to be quite like that. We'll show you a picture at the end of the video. But if you get it close and you get it pretty well centered, everything will work fine. And you can use the blunt end of the tool to center the bushing or push it in either direction if you need to. And once you've got it most of the way centered, you can also use the transmission pin a little bit to sort of push it into place. The transmission pin kind of makes a convenient tool. And then once you've got it to your liking, go ahead and pop it on the rest of the way. Check to be sure it's secure. And that's what it ideally will look like, but anything close to that should work. And then you'll want to shift the vehicle back and forth between park and one several times to check the installation. And that's it, you're done.